What's up everybody, Gary Simon here, and today we're gonna do a little bit uh, something different, and that's going to be my reaction to seeing for the first time the top 10 most hearted or most liked code pens of 2022. So code pen is just, if you're unfamiliar, it's just a, uh, it's kind of like a playground area. It's like a, in, in, an editor in which you can write HTML, CSS, JavaScript real quickly. Um, and there's some really cool things that people are able to share. And so we're gonna look at the ones that were voted, you know, in terms of just being most popular, these little hearts right here. There's actually a hundred of these. I'm not going through a hundred. I'm just gonna go to the very top 10. So they start you off with the, uh, you know, at the top with, you know, number 100, and then you'll see that, uh, actually it looks like these are a little bit different in terms of the hearts, but I'm just gonna go to page 10. All right, so uh, let's go and just see if we can go forward slash 10 up there. And there we are. So here's number 10, let's ch check this out. So this one is an animated bottom bar experiment. All right, let's check this out. Again, I have not seen these yet, so let's see how they rock. Okay, so basically we have uh, five different iterations of a toolbar. Let me zoom up here. All right, so that one's not all that impressive. It's just a CSS transition occurring over here, making this element move, and also changing this background. And by the way, for those of you unfamiliar, we have the HTML over here. Sometimes it can be written in different languages, like uh, our syntaxes, like pug. That's a popular one. CSS, as you can see right here, it says SAS, and then JavaScript over here. And if you're interested in knowing um, like any type of packages that are being imported, uh, you could click on the little, right up here, this little cog icon, and then you click on it. And in this case, we have just uh, nothing is being imported essentially. So it's just using pure plain vanilla JavaScript for this section over here. And it's not too bad, just interacting with the DOM. All right, let's check out the other ones here. All right, so notice one, something that's very cool. Um, right here, these little things right here, I, I'm i not sure if those are actually like SVGs or PNGs he's just adding on to the side. I know with certain SVG filters, you can create like a goo effect. I Let's check this out further. All right, let's try this one. All right, very cool. All right. Nothing that's really crazy complex. It's not using anything like 3JS. Pretty cool. All right, let's go check out the next one. All right, let's check out number nine, Pokemon Cards Hollow Effect. That sounds interesting. I never got into that whole Pokemon thing. Look at that, that is pretty cool. It has like this, uh, like basically what it said, a hollow effect, like this uh, translucency, translucency if that's a word. Um, very reflective sort of hover effect. Common and uncommon. So it kind of talks about how he uh, created this effect if you're interested. Oh, okay, so there's like a gallery of different types of these uh, hover effects that have to do with these uh, translucent effects. A, a crisscross linear gradient pattern. Very cool, I like that a lot. Awesome, continuing on number eight, let's look at this sidebar interaction. All right, I like the design, it's nice and simple. All right, let's see what happens. All right, simple enough. We've covered this before on the channel, just toggling between a light and dark mode. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so you can expand and collapse it. And it has nice, very nice uh, labels based on hover. Yeah, that is excellent. He's just hiding the labels essentially upon click, which may be adding a class of some sort that will animate the overall container, hide these elements instantly, and then just bring everything in and toggle them back and forth. All right, let's go to number seven. This is a 3JS, all right? I knew for sure we would be seeing 3JS. So this is a 3JS Toys Neon Cursor. <laughs> That's very cool. It's fun to play around with this. I would suggest trying this one out yourself because it's so smooth the way in which it works. 
So I've done three JS crash courses here on the channel, just for beginners. Nothing real complex yet. I'm starting getting into it more myself again. Um, but yeah, definitely check this out. Uh, 3.js can be pretty complex, even though it's a library based on WebGL. Um, trying to write WebGL itself would be really crazy. Uh, 3.js makes it easier, but still there is uh, a learning curve. You can do very, very, very cool stuff like this. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's check number six out. This is Nova Points. So it looks like this would probably be another 3.js. Yes, this has to be three. Yeah, it is three. So over here we can see three right here. And we can zoom out with our mouse scroll wheel, which are common 3JS controls. It's very easy to set that sort of thing up. You can see there's a subtle movement. You would be surprised. This isn't massively difficult to create. A lot of this is boilerplate. Here's the main code it looks like. And it looks like we're using, if we look at up right here, uh, VEC3, this is all shader stuff. Shaders allow you to do some really crazy stuff. Awesome, look at that. Next up is number five, infinite scroll animation. So that's something that's been around forever. And that's it, there's no interaction. CSS only, okay content independent, bi-directional, and customizable. So it's a really practical uh, thing. It's kind of like the old school marquee effect. If you guys are old enough like myself, almost 40, <laughs> uh, we had a, a, a HTML had just a an actual HTML element called the marquee and you could just scroll things automatically. There was no writing code. Uh, but here's the code right here. And it's not too bad uh, if I zoom up. Not in it, of course. This one is uh, not vanilla JS. This is React. Awesome. Let's check out the next one. Animated star rating. Simple enough. Hard to believe has a seventeen hundred likes or hearts rather. All right. Very cool. That's one of the cool things um, that I em em implore people to integrate more. So is micro interactions. Uh, these tiny little interactions, of course, in a real context, they wouldn't be this large, uh, but still just being able to click on that and just have this cool sort of animation occur is awesome. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you could approach this. I'm not sure what they're doing exactly. However, I would say that I, you could, this little animation right there where the star comes out, you could probably use something like Lottie, L-O-T-T-I. It's kind of like a marketplace of free and paid uh, animations people create in something like After Effects and then you're able to use them on the web. I have courses and stuff like, or video tutorials on Lottie animations as well. And then it's just a matter of tying it all together based on click with JavaScript. And you can see this JavaScript here, this is vanilla JS, not use any type of uh, uh, platform here. Uh, this is just regular JavaScript to essentially get all the classes and such and attributes as well. I can see there's class list add, I set attribute, all this good stuff. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Awesome. Next up is going to be animated to continuous sections with GSAP, which is the GreenSock animation platform. Another thing I have uh, courses on here. Let's check this one out. All right, so an interesting, you know, very subtle, simple sort of animation intro. Yeah, very easy. So what they're doing is basically each, without even looking at the code, each one of these um, characters as a part of these titles is being separated into their own HTML element. And that way they're able to stagger them in a random fashion uh, on the y-axis in basically transitioning them. So it makes it look pretty cool. It's, it's not all coming in at the same time, which is linear. This is dynamic in such a case. Now you can see over here, these are all together, but they're using JavaScript, I would imagine. Yep, or I see it right there, split text to split that text. So there's a split text plugin that you can actually use. It makes it easy. You just pass it in uh, the heading right here, and then you pass in some options right here. 
and it will automatically separate each one of these characters into their own uh, HTML element essentially. And then uh, you can use something like the, the uh, green sock um, sequence animations uh, to just independently change the values. And that's what this is here. Awesome, awesome, I like that one. Next up here, number two, is a CSS marquee logo wall. Another marquee logo wall, or not a logo wall, but another effect like the marquee. I like the design here, uh, I think it's very solid. If you're ever gonna have uh, logos and stuff, sometimes it's nice just to get the, the all the white versions or the black versions, and then you have a more simplified design in this monochromatic approach here. All right, so what's happening here, we have just regular uh, vanilla JavaScript. Let me zoom up here. We're getting our properties like the wrapper, the marquee, et cetera. We're adding a click event. Interesting. I don't see how the, oh, the click event right here. Oh, I was wondering why, why is there a click event? But all, all the way over to the very left is uh, the ability to change the direction. And it's not very difficult. You're just toggling a class list over here. I. Uh, Here's all the CSS, mainly just SVG graphics, nothing crazy. Awesome. Now let's check out number one, app menu with lock screen. So this has 3,729 hearts, 27 comments, 53,000 views. Let's check it out. Let's click. Let's enter a pen, one, two, three, four. It reminds you of you basically, it, for me, it reminds me of like an OS, like uh, Windows or something, that, that type of lock screen that you have first. Yeah, very simple, nothing crazy here happening. I think the most interesting thing was the, uh, the lock screen. Eight, or let's see here, one, two, three, four. I was about to enter my real lock screen here and just, get myself hacked. All right, awesome, awesome stuff. All right, everybody. Yeah, hopefully you found that interesting. If I were you, this is a great resource from which you can learn how these subtle interactions are created. And you have over a hundred of them that you can go through and just analyze the code. And so it's a great learning resource. Uh, if you see something that you like, and if you start piecing these together enough, and even as a part of it, like an exercise routine, not physically, of course, but a practice routine, um, recreating this effect in a different concept uh, or context, you know, like uh, doing the translucent hollow effect, you know, on your own in, in a different context, or the sidebar interaction, create your own unique sidebar animation that maybe reacts differently, but uses the same concepts that are. I uh, displayed here in the JavaScript and the HTML and CSS. All right, everybody, I will be back with more videos. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. Make sure to check out designcores.com. Subscribe here and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.